Hey guys, thought I'd uh, do another video, um, <clears throat> get back in here a little more, and I've actually got a question for you all tonight, New Zealand time, <laughs> uh, which comes from a great member of the community who's just signed up to my videos. Um, quick note there on the subscribers, wow guys, there are a lot of you subscribing up to 55, and you know, I'm not really in it for that whole, look how many subscribers I've got. I just think it's great that people are enjoying the content and want to see more of it and want to stay tuned just to look out for some of that. So thank you all. I know that the Grand Theft Auto video has been extremely popular. Um, and yep, thanks a lot for that. Okay, so Notorious Coaster has sent me an email. Hello Blake. I was looking at a lot of your videos lately and I was very impressed with the Grand Theft Auto video and your experiences with game consoles. Recently I came across your iPod Touch video, which I thank you for as it showed me a few things that I didn't even know I had on it. <laughs> there are some cool little things uh, buried in the system, there's some I've seen on the internet have a look around that I didn't know about. Um, the ones that are really useful to me are the double tapping on the home icon to get your little floating window uh, and all sorts of things like that. Anyway, two things I was wondering how to do, or if you can do, is one, you said, I think, that you can set your alarm to play your music when it rings. Is this true and how can I do it? Now, I could have sworn that this was an option on the iPod, but unfortunately, Chris, I really can't seem to find it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if it was taken out in later versions of the software. Uh, whether Apple did that with their reasoning, I honestly don't know, but I'm afraid to say that I can't see it in here. Um, I'm sorry about that, it looks like you're just stuck with the standard, thank you, sounds. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, sorry if I mislead you on that one, but it doesn't appear to be doable. Um, if someone out there does know, stick in a comment, send me a message, and I'll be happy to pass that on to Chris. Uh, or you can message him directly, whatever. So, number two, you said about getting movies on my iPod, which I had done before by getting them off LimeWire. Bad, bad boy. <laughs> but do you know how to take your own DVDs and compress them so that you can put them on your iPod, or do they all have to come off the internet? Answer these if you find the time, and I have subscribed to your channel, so I will look out for any new videos you put on. Regards, Chris. Thanks for your email, Chris. Sorry about that first question again. Anyway, your second question I can definitely answer. Yes, you don't have to get everything off LimeWire or BitTorrent or Trans, you know, Torrents, whatever it is you use to get your movies. Not at all. You can use, and it's available for the Mac and for Windows. Uh, I only have experience on the Mac. You didn't tell me if you were running a PC or a Mac. So I'm going to go through it the Mac way, now if you've got a problem with that, send me another message and I'll refer you to some stuff for Windows, but I can really only speak for the Mac um, at this point. Anyway, head over to HTTP, uh, you know the standard HTTP, whatever the two little dots are, slash slash, handbrake, like car handbrake, dot FR, FR as in for inch. Uh, head over there. Uh, Handbrake is a really popular open source program for Mac and Windows. How it might even be for Linux too. Hang on, I'll just have a look. I'm just going to go on there so I can tell you some stuff. Um, and basically, yep, for Linux as well. So, Handbrake, what it will do is, if you pop in one of your DVDs into your disk drive and you download this program, basically it's a 5 megabyte download. Right, so now that you've gone through and downloaded that, I'm going to transfer over to my screen capture. Uh, I figure it's better if you actually see me go through and use it. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm going to use the Mac version of Handbrake here. Now I've already downloaded and installed it, so I'm going to go down and open it up. Similar on Windows, just open the program, and it, when it first opens, you should get the handbrake window with a little dialog box asking you to open a disk to copy from. So in my list of devices here, I've got a disk, Goodbye Pork Pie, that's my movie. Don't worry about any of this, just hit open when you hit click the disk. It's going to go through now and scan the disk for 
the title. Now it'll pick the longest title, which in most cases is the movie. So it's done that now. You can see the link there. And now we can go through over to our presets and hit iPhone slash iPod touch. Now, if you want it in a special place, just go browse. Standard thing there, I'm not going to. And when you want it, hit save. So it's gone through and done all of that. And you can preview it here. There's what it's going to look like. Close. And when you've done all that and picked where you want it, just hit start. Now it will take about 45 minutes on my machine. And when it's finished, which I have because I've just cancelled it with my key combo, uh, it'll say it's done. Okay. Take that file. This is a sample one. Drag it into iTunes. And iTunes will set it up to copy over to your iPod. And if you've got any more questions for me, Chris, or for the community, please come out and ask me. I don't bite. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for watching.